Hi guys, happy Thursday. So I just realized when I showed you my Wednesday sign yesterday, it appears backwards to you. So sorry about that. I had to learn how to write backwards. You guys should try it. So when you look in a mirror and write something, it looks different. So I've written, this looks backwards to me right now, but it doesn't to you. So yesterday was Wednesday. And today is Thursday. As you can see, I need to keep practicing my backwards writing. It ain't as easy as it looks. You guys should try. So happy Thursday. And yesterday we did our lovely Mars and our lovely Jupiter. Mars turned out really, really cool. Really cool. Our lovely red planet. Can anyone remember why it's called the red planet? Because of the sulfur oxide on it. Well done. Sulfur oxide looks like rust. So it's a rusty red planet with Mars's how many moons has Mars got? Can we remember? Two. It's got one moon twice. Two moons. Lovely old Mars. And Mars has the largest volcano in the entire solar system even higher than mount everest so i printed out a little picture of mount everest for you guys so i want to show you so we talked about mount everest being in china i just drew little mountain figures there so our lovely mount everest which is here and excuse the little bite mark because it fell on the ground and my bunny had a wee chew Bugsy loves to chew cardboard. So Mount Everest is 8,849 meters high. However, like I was telling you about yesterday, Mauna Kea, which is in Hawaii, over here. Mauna Kea. Now, I know it's not as tall as Everest. Oops, I should have been holding it that way, sorry. I know it's not as tall as Everest, because it only goes up 4,205 meters, but Mauna Kea goes right down under the sea for 6,000 meters. So if you were to measure it from the bottom of the sea floor, Mauna Kea is much taller than Mount Everest. But we still love our Mount Everest. Now that's not a very good picture. You should get your mummies and daddies to look up more on these lovely pictures that I'm showing you. And it's cool to research some more. You get to learn about some cool places like China. We talk about our continents maybe next week. So that's our cool, cool Mount Everest and our cool Mauna Kea in Hawaii, where Moana is from, Jodi. Jodi loves Moana. Now, our lovely Mars with its two moons. Our Jupiter, my favorite planet, came out so well. Where's the eye of the storm? Aha. The eye of the storm. Planet Earth would fit inside there. Can you believe that? Jupiter has got 79 moons. That is a lot of moons circling it. That's a lot of moons. But 20, I think, 26 of those moons hasn't got any name. So I was thinking, because before I got married, my name was Joanne Mooney. Therefore, I think NASA should let me name one of Jupiter's moons. Ooh, how cool would that be? I get to name a moon? Wow, because Joanne Mooney? I mean, they can't say no if I ask them. So I'm going to ask NASA. Yeah, I really am. I'm going to write a letter, say, NASA, I really think I should be allowed to name one of your moons on Jupiter. So here it goes. Let's try. So today, that was our lovely... Jupiter and today we're going to do Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. It's smaller than Jupiter but bigger than all the rest and it's so lovely as well. Saturn has these gorgeous rings going around it. They're made up of millions and billions of dust, rocks, asteroids, lots of things spinning around at a super fast speed and if you were to go in your car not that you would because you would fall through these rings they're only light but if you were to go in your car and start here on saturn and go around these rings 
That takes eight years. It takes eight years to go around the rings of Saturn. And although Saturn is really, really big, it's very light. If you put it in water, it would probably float. Saturn is a very light planet, but it's very big. And our lovely, lovely, cool, cool rings. It takes eight years to go around them. So we're going to paint Saturn today and Uranus. We paint that next. Uranus also has lovely, most, most of the planets have rings, guys, but they're not all as visible as our gorgeous Saturn. It's so cool. So we'll do Uranus and Saturn today. So I need a big, big one for Saturn. And I haven't actually decided how am I going to do the rings of Saturn yet. So maybe you guys can have a little think and if anyone comes up with any cool ideas. So I'll paint it, but I I haven't, I'm trying to think, how will I do the rings around it? Has anyone got any ideas for Jojo? I would really like that. So let's start off painting our lovely Saturn, which is a really light planet. I didn't know that actually. I didn't know it was super light that it would float in water. Uh -uh. Now I do. So our lovely Saturn, I'm going to paint it mostly yellow and leave bits of white in it. Wouldn't that be cool? Has you guys, I've got some, oh girls, Ava and Shun, thank you for showing me your absolutely gorgeous solar system. And Barnes and Pearly Whirly, your solar system was so cool. And I have other people sending me little videos of solar systems they're doing in Dublin. Like we're going solar system crazy here, it's so cool. We'll be finishing up our little solar system tomorrow. I wanna to show you my telescope as well. Um, does that look cool? It looks so nice. And look how bright it is out today. Look at all that gorgeous sunlight coming down to us. Thank you, Mr. Sun, who is like 4.6 billion years old. He's like so old. And he does such a great job every day. So our lovely Saturn, which has got, how many moons has Saturn got? 82. 82 moons Saturn has. And its biggest moon is called Titan. Titan is its biggest moon. I am Saturn. So here's Saturn. Okay, so really, really, truly help me now. Think about this. How am I going to do the rings? Somebody can come back to me on that one. So there's a lovely Saturn with its 82 moons. I mean, come on. Saturn, you're lovely. Now Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Oh, seven, my lucky number. The seventh planet from the sun. Now Uranus is the only planet that lies on its side. And that kind of confused me because I was like, how do they know it's lying on its side? I mean, NASA, how do you know that? They know that because of its moons. It's got 27 moons. And those moons are all tilted at an axis that they know the whole planet is on its side. And they think it's on its side because something millions of years ago smashed into it, causing it to tilt. It could have been a huge asteroid. It could have been a meteor. We don't know because we haven't been up there. So we will paint it our lovely Uranus. We'll paint it blue, blue like the sky. So let me get my lovely blue and we paint Uranus with its 27 moons and it actually takes Uranus. When we have one year on planet Earth, so you have a year, that's 84 years on Uranus. Time is bonkers in space. Time is like crazy. And these planets are so far away now. So we had Mercury. Let's go and have a look here. So we have Look, so you're cl we're close to the sun here. So it's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So we're here now at Uranus and Saturn. These are so far back from the sun. They must be so cold. So Uranus is lovely blue. So I paint 
Uranus and Pluto. And we don't have to worry about the rings on that because they're not as prominent as the ones on Saturn. But if you guys could really come up with some ideas for me of how could I do some really cool rings on Saturn. Um, so we're doing Uranus. And Uranus is made up of hydrogen and helium and another little chemist called methane, I think. Ah, that looks lovely. Nice. It's the Uranus and it takes, well, we have one year on planet Earth is 84 years. So if you were one and you lived on Uranus, you wouldn't get a birthday cake for like 84 years. That's a lot. <laughs> it's crazy. Yay. So there we've got Uranus. Gorgeous. And our lovely Saturn. Ta-da. Nice. Uranus. And then we've got one planet left that we'll do tomorrow. It's Neptune. Oh, maybe we might do Pluto as well, because Pluto is still there. It's a dwarf planet. It's past Neptune. And they demoted it a few years ago, meaning, oh, you're not a planet anymore. You're too small. So now they call it a dwarf planet. And I think that's a bit unfair. So why don't we do Neptune and Pluto tomorrow? That'd be cool, because we can't leave Pluto out. So let's have a look at our lovely sounds that we've been doing. We have done, who can remember? We've done puh, good job. We've done uh, and we've done ah. Here we go. Puh. Uh, ah, pla. Let's do a new sound today. What did we do today? Let's have a look. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one looks good. This sound is mmm. And this is a lovely nurse. A nurse, or we could have night, night time. So this is how we do mmm. Mm. So what have we got now? I definitely think there's a word forming here. I think we'll find it out tomorrow. Can anyone guess in the meantime? What word might Jojo be doing? P -u -a -n. Plan. But we're going to add two more sounds tomorrow. Have a think about it and see. Plan. Mm, that's a plan. Well done, guys. Are you guys liking the solar system? Look, I'm totally liking it. I love the solar system. How many, pl are many planets in our solar system? Eight. Easy peasy for you guys now at this stage. You're just little solar system whizzes, which is great. Let's do our solar system song. Our solar system has eight planets, eight planets, eight planets. Oh, that's probably backwards too, sorry. Our solar system has eight planets, and this is what they are. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That's all A to C. That's all A to C. I want to show you our little poster here. There we go. Oh, right there is the sun. Look at that shining through. Thank you, Mr. Sun. So our sun is in the center. We know that. We know it never moves. But we're the ones that move. We've got our first closest planet is Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. I can't believe this poster hasn't got Pluto. I'm very sad with that. I love my little Pluto. 
So there's a little guy in his rocket. You guys may go back to school. We're going to make that cool rocket that we had in our mind, our planned to do. So there we go. We've got our lovely, lovely planets. Now, guys, so would you guys like a little story today? And we can talk more about the elements that make up all of these planets, well, mainly hydrogen and helium. But we'll talk more about them. I want to show you something different on that tomorrow. Um, I'll get us a wee story. And I want you to keep up the good work now. I know that some of you are doing lots of planet work at home. And that is so, 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 so cool. Jojo is so proud of you. We love you, Huggles Douglas. So I chose this story today because it's one of my favourites. Um, Huggles Douglas. Huggles Douglas is a big brown bear. The big brown bears right now are hibernating. They're sound asleep. Can anyone remember our hibernation song? Hibernation, time to go to sleep now. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the bear? Sleeping in his log or lair. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Oh, hibernation. And I definitely know they're hibernating right now because my auntie in America, Auntie Sally, has, lives in New York. It's so lovely where she lives. It's in the countryside. And there are bears in her garden. But there are none right now because when I was talking to her last night, they've got so much snow. So the bears are definitely, definitely sound asleep in their wee cave. And a mummy bear could give birth to a baby bear during hibernation. And the baby bear will just drink on mummy's milk. And mummy will stay asleep. The mummy bear will stay asleep and not a bother on her. And out of the cave they come in spring. Oh, I got a little cat. So that's magical. They're so amazing. Bears are so amazing. Now we'll talk about them more one of the other days. So Huggles Douglas, we love you. It was a bright and beautiful kind of day. Like today, I suppose. A day for sharing with friends, thought Douglas. So we went out to look for someone to play with. Well, he couldn't find anyone. <laughs> Until he heard a noise. Hello, Flossy, said Douglas. How did you get up there? Flossy took a deep breath. Oh gosh, I was playing hide and seek with my best friend and she got like a duck and he's lost her. Don't worry, said Douglas. And he placed Flossy gently on the ground. Flossy gave Douglas a thank you hug. Ooh, please, will you help me find little sheep? Of course I will, said Douglas. And together they headed off to do just that. They soon passed Old Barn and found Cow and her best friends preparing frothy top milkshakes. Mm -mm. Yum. Hello, said Cow. Take a seat and we'll make you a strawberry and banana smoothies. We can't stop now, cow, said Douglas. We're looking for little sheep. Have you seen him? Cow looked under the table. No. Have you tried going down through and round about? Douglas wasn't quite sure what she meant by that, but he thanked her a lot and carried on. Douglas and Flossie made their way down the hill, through the long, tickly grass, towards tall tree wood. They were busy searching around, when all of a sudden, they were surprised by three funny bunnies. Good catch, said Rabbit. Have you come to join our class? We're best friend bouncers. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, I would totally love to join that class. No, said Douglas. We're looking for sheep. Oh, pity. I could do what a catcher for my big bouncers. Well, if you're looking for sheep, why don't you throw? Try ba 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 bush. Hmm, that's a good idea. By the time they reached ba 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 bush, 
Flossie was very excited. Let's see what we can find in here. Come on, quick. There was no sign of any sheep. But Flossie wriggled and squeaked and asked Douglas to look again. Found you. Oh, found you, little sheep. Whoa, best friends together at last. That was a good hiding place. The two sheep looked so happy and trotted off hand in hand. Douglas waved them goodbye. We will show you the best friend, he said. Aww, I'd be your best friend, Douglas. Close by, wise old owl heard his wish. Douglas wondered why he felt so sad. And he sat down to think for a while. Aww. And if I saw someone lonely and sad, I'd come and say, Are you okay? Do you need a friend? All of a sudden, yay! Everyone was there for Huggles Douglas. We, we heard you needed a best friend. Like, so, like, we will all be your best friends. We can have so many best friends. You don't have to have just one best friend. You have lots of best friends. Oh, you guys. Douglas realised, oh gosh, it was silly actually. We're all best friends. We love you, Huggles Douglas. Oh, I love you too. And Jojo loves you guys. And I can't wait to be back at school for all those lovely hugs and more cool stuff about our planets. And I will see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday again. Anyways, that means there's another week closer to getting back to school. So woohoo! See you later, alligators. <laughs>